Okay, well, I'm going to put a trailer hitch on my 2012 Volkswagen Golf um, TDI station wagon, which is the same as a sport wagon, in, or Jetta sport wagon in the U.S. Anyways, one of the uh, issues that I noticed, uh, let me just talk about the tools that I'm using. Underneath, so this is the underneath the car, you have to take off that um, trim panel. However, what they did was they used three different sizes of Torx uh, fasteners. So here's a Torx fastener, uh, right there. Three different sizes. There's a T30, a T25 or 26, and then a T20 up in here. Uh, yeah. Which is weird. And then they have two 10, uh, 10 millimeter um, bolt type fasteners. So I'm going to take that off. Oh, so that's what it looks like up in there. Um, on that frame rail, there are three, uh, well, two important, well, three important holes. The one on the front is the access hole. And if I flip around to the outside, this is on the outside of that frame rail. There's, I hope you can see those on the side of the frame rail. Um, there's a, an access hole in the front and a bolt hole in the back. Anyways, one day I'm going to take this off and undercoat all that stuff. From the factory, it's not that good. Anyways. Although there is some, but crap gets up in there. On uh, the exhaust side, disconnect the uh, rear exhaust hanger. And all I did was use a pair of um, pipe pliers and lubricated the rubber uh, grommet thing so I can get it off. I'm going to do that on the front one as well. That's this one right here in front of the tire. Right there. Okay, well, you have to feed the uh, fish wire through here, through that hole. And it's got a little spring on it. And I used a, I fashioned a piece of welding rod so I could help poke it through these holes until I eventually got it down to there. And that is the thread, oh, uh, I don't know, it threads onto the bolt, and you pull the bolt in through there. Alright, well, I cut a piece of wood to fit in under there and push up on the thing. I um, put silicone sealer in under here, between the body and the uh, hitch, just to seal it up in case of dust or water. And I have installed, reinstalled, the exhaust bracket and man was that tough it didn't line up just right I think the spacer on this side here is a little too thick so here's what I did I took an ordinary adjustable wrench and I hooked it on there I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not and that allows me to pry on the thing and that'll bend this over so those things line up a little better. And that's how I did it. And now it wants the torques uh, all correct. So take a torque wrench and it gives you the torques and the instructions. And I've already pre-tightened this. Just tighten them down. Two clicks, good enough. All right, it's in place. I'm going to put the shields back on. One day I'll take it off and get in here and clean that up a little better. Do some better uh, oh, undercoating and stuff like that. So I've marked out the uh, dust cover panel using the uh, mounting holes as uh, positioning marks. And I'm going to cut it out on a bandsaw. Okay, so there is the trailer hitch all in place. Um, not obtrusive. It hangs down a little bit lower than I had hoped. Um, I wish these cars were designed to have a trailer hitch on them a little a little more trailer hitch friendly anyways. However, so I went to the dealer and to get the wiring done. And the dealer said, no, you can't wire these things. The Volkswagen doesn't want you to have a trailer hitch on. And yeah, okay. I understand that Volkswagen doesn't want you to have a trailer hitch on. However, 
um, I found it implausible that you couldn't um, wire a trailer hitch in for uh, el the electrical lights on the uh, trailer. And so I went to a different dealer, and the different dealer said, Yep, no problem, we have the parts in stock, and we'll do it tomorrow morning. And they did. So I think, I haven't actually looked, but I'll just look now. I think, I don't know how you get that open. Anyways, there they are. That's the trailer wiring. So, obviously it can be done. Um, the reason why I went to the dealer to get the wiring done is that, well, it's quite electronic. There's a security system on these things, and I think there's an electronic immobilizer, and so I really didn't want to screw that kind of stuff up. So, it cost me $369, labor and parts included, to get the wiring done. For peace of mind, it was well worth it. Anyways, check a different dealer if they give you a hassle.